Oh, hello, Mr. Bat. You seem worried. How can I help you? Ah, I understand, Mr. Bat. You can stay here as long as you want. Oh, you're welcome, my little friend. Now go and eat something. The food is in the kitchen. Oh, it's sad that Bat has to go through all this. I wish things will get back to normal soon. Oh, hello, friends. You must be wondering from what that Bat was running away and why he seemed so afraid. Well, that's because in recent times, Bats have been accused of being responsible for spreading a new form of infectious disease called Nipah virus infection. What is it? To know more about Nipah virus, let's zoom in. According to WHO, Nipah virus infection is a newly emerging zoonosis. It means a disease which can be spread to humans from animals. The first outbreak of NIV occurred in a place called Kampung Sungai Nipah in Malaysia in the year 1998. And on this occasion, pigs were held responsible for it. But in recent cases in southern India, bats are identified as the source of this outbreak. And that's the reason Mr. Bat has to hide from humans, my friends. Oh, poor Mr. Bat. It's not entirely his fault. Because the real culprit behind this infectious disease is a virus called Henipa virus, a kind of RNA virus that is naturally found in fruit bats, also known as flying foxes, and in several other species of bats. So, how do bats spread this infection to humans? Well, these bats don't bite people and generally stay miles away from human contact. But the problem occurs when a bat bites a fruit. The fruit gets infected by the Nipah virus present in the bat saliva, resulting in spreading the disease in the person or livestock consuming the same fruit. These viruses do not make the bats sick, but in humans, it can cause a deadly infection and the symptoms for which are fever, headache, drowsiness that can lead to mental confusion. These symptoms can further progress into a coma within 48 hours. Other potential threats caused during this infection is inflammation of the brain and respiratory illness that can be fatal to humans. Trivia time! Do you know that currently there are no vaccines available against Nipah virus? So, in the absence of a vaccine, the only way to overcome or prevent NIV in people is by making them aware of the risk involved and educating them about the steps they can take to minimize exposure to the Nipah virus. Small steps such as we should thoroughly wash and peel the fruits before consumption and fruits with a mark of bad bites should be avoided at any cost. Also, it's suggested to limit our contact with bats is one of the ways to prevent this infectious disease. But it really isn't their fault. It's humans that are crawling into the bat's territory. They are not coming to our house, but we are entering their homes. Ah, except in this case. Oh, no thanks, I'm good. All right, friends. Hope this information will help you to deal with this fatal disease. And do not forget to share it with your friends. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <coughs> hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell. 
so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.